And now we'll have something more fun, Aaron. This is a time for ghost stories. Did you get, did you find a flash? Did they give you a flashlight? Okay. All right. Okay. Can you hear me now? <laughs> for many reasons, fall seems to be a time in our culture when people are, you know, more in the mood for gathering around, dusting off their copies of Edgar Allan Poe, or collecting scary folk tales from around the world. Incidentally, Edgar Allan Poe, 100 year anniversary of his death, is that right? And it's, and it's being celebrated in New York right now. Pretty cool, good timing. Um, so they gather around, they make up, and they listen to scary hair-raising tales or maybe around the fire. And for just a little while, I'd like you guys to play along with me. So really put yourself in this scene. Imagine this is you. So one early evening when the sky is beginning to turn just a little bit paler in preparation for dusk, you're driving to a friend's house for a Halloween party. The house is in the country and you've been there once, but it was during the day, so for prudence sake, you take your GPS device, which gives you nice, you know, insistent orders and a pleasant voice. You're cruising along just fine, and you're still in territory that's familiar to you, but it's rapidly becoming more rural, and suddenly your GPS starts malfunctioning. The screen goes blank, and the voice becomes garbled. Well, that's weird. I mean, that's never happened to you before. So, you know, it's a little old-fashioned, but you did also happen to print out directions from online. So, you've got those with you, too. Um, so, you confidently use them to take a few turns, but you soon discover that many of the roads that are labeled on the map don't reflect the labeling of the actual roads you're dealing with. Many of the rural roads have no signs at all. So you, you take a few more turns and you're getting onto rougher and rougher roads. Eventually you think you might have driven in a circle. Things are starting to look familiar. Or, or is that because you're now surrounded only by hackberry trees, barbed wire fences, and grass? There are no other structures anywhere. It's been a while since you've seen them. So you take another turn, this time onto a dirt road. Ah, you remember this. This is familiar. So you are sure you're in the right place. But, ah, oh, excuse me. <laughs> that was spooky. <laughs> All right. So you're on this dirt road, and this is the road that you should be on. You know it. But you drive several more miles, and you realize that there's no indication this is the street you should be on. It was just wishful thinking. So should you turn around or should you continue? Just as you're debating the merits of either choice, your gas gauge dings. Oh, you missed that last gas station in town. Didn't even think about it. How many more miles can you drive? In your anxiousness, you decide to turn around and you try to find your way back to a main road. You can remember the last series of turns, no big deal. You drive back a few miles, you had taken a left, so now you take a right. You go to that funny looking oak, you take a left. You go, uh, how far to the next turn? Oh, there it is, take a right. Oh wait, was it a left? Mm, you stop, you look, you turn left, it was a left. The gas gauge dings its warning again. You're certain you're headed the right direction now, but the sky is getting dimmer and dimmer, and it makes the scenery look kind of different and unwelcoming. And are those clouds on the western horizon? It's getting dark really fast. After another few turns, you have to admit you are truly lost. You chide yourself for not doing it earlier, but you decide to call for directions. Wanting to be safe, even when there's no traffic, you of course pull over to look at your phone and to dial, uh, but you look at your phone and there's no service, not a single bar. You remember now that your service was spotty the last time you were at your friend's house. I wish you'd thought of that before. Then while you're waiting, your car begins to sputter and you groan with the car as it slowly loses power out of gas. What now? 
The scenery is turning an even shade of dark blue-gray, and so is the road and all distinguishing features. Stay in the car all night or walk to the nearest major road. You reason there's bound to be someone driving on one of the paved roads close by. You leave your car and you hear the soft crunch of dirt and rock under your feet with every step. You know, it wasn't that long ago that you were passing old farmhouses and barns. Maybe you just wandered onto one big ranch and you've just been on that ranch. Maybe you are, relatively speaking, next door to where you're supposed to be. So the road takes a slight turn. You keep walking. You crest a low hill and you start down the other side. You keep talking positively to yourself as you continue out of sight of your car. But it's getting very hard to see the road by the time you get to your first turn. You can go straight, right, or left. You look left, and way in the distance, you see headlights. Hey, they're moving away from you at an almost perpendicular angle, but you still take this to be a great sign. It's traffic. Where there's one car, there's bound to be another, right? So you'll soon have help. You'll have a ride. You're actually smiling as you pick up your pace. And when you hear something lightly pat behind you, you stop moving, tense with listening. Then there's a pat farther away to the left. What is that? Suddenly you're startled by a flick on your forehead and a cold drop slides down your nose. That's just rain. <laughs> so you're relieved for a split second. Then you start to wonder if you should head back to the car for shelter. No, there wasn't any rain in the forecast. You know, it's probably just one of those clouds that, you know, slides on by you and just kind of spits a little bit. So. You continue walking in earnest toward the promise of more headlights. You walk and you walk. You haven't gotten to a paved road yet. It's hard to judge distance in the near dark. You're wishing you had brought a flashlight. When the pat sound starts again, pat, 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 there are many drops hitting all around you. Okay, slight shower, no big deal. It feels refreshing, so you just keep walking. The drops become more frequent. Rat, you're actually getting wet. Then there's a loud crack and a bracing rumble of thunder. A blast of wind whips around you and the rain becomes heavier and thicker. This is not a short passing shower. You huff and turn around to return to your car. There's another raucous round of thunder, but as the bellowing seems to roll away in the sky, you hear another sound behind you in the direction, coming from the direction you were just headed. You instinctively snap your head toward it, keeping your feet still, but you can't see in the near darkness with the rain falling. You strain your ears for a repeat of the sound. It was sort of a thud, like something hitting the road. Maybe a tree branch? There's no sound but the rain, and it really doesn't help to continue standing still any longer, so you turn around and start walking again. You are quite soaked by the rain now. You start to sort of half-heartedly jog just to get to the shelter of your little car again, get a little faster. Um, you've only gone a few steps, though, when you hear it again, a kind of thump followed by several other thumps, almost hollow clicks or slaps or something. It's unmistakable this time. You have heard something. So you're compelled to turn around, but again, you can see nothing. A flash of lightning illuminates the landscape as far as you can see for a tantalizing split second, and you catch a glimpse of a big black mass in the middle of the road, far away. Dark returns just as quickly, and the scene is temporarily emblazoned on your retina. What was that? It's too far away to tell, but it's really not far enough away for comfort. You keep staring with eyes wide hoping to use any future bursts of light to discern what the mass is, but the storm does not oblige.